good taco. And here on the Eastern Shore, a favorite of many is the fish taco. And when it comes to the type of fish, options are practically endless. And joining us today is Pete Roscovich from Black Diamond Catering. Thanks for joining us. So Thanks what are we me. making? You, We're chef. obviously making taco, but what kind? We're going to make ahi tuna tacos today. Oh, I love it. So we have the ahi tuna sitting right here, and okay. it's sitting in a little blackening season. Okay. okay. So first tell us what ingredients we need. Okay, so we're going to make a power blend, which is the uh, cabbage, carrot, kale, and Brussels sprouts, and it ends mm -hmm. up being like this. Jimmy's going to work okay. on that mm -hmm. while you're working on making our homemade corn salsa. We'll just start with a little oh. uh, roasted tomato, yeah. corn, fresh cilantro, um, an onion, and a little bit of green pepper. Okay. All right. Let's and, get to it. Okay. So first you're going to do something the with tuna. the tuna. I'm going to start the tuna. Okay. A little bit of butter. You've had like, that pot. That, uh, yes, yeah, nice and hot. Nice and hot. So it's ready to go here. I'm going to take uh -huh. me some carrot here. Okay. Like that just and then you wanted me to just start cutting up Yeah, dice the onion up very small. Okay. So we drop the tuna in here. It doesn't take long. Yeah, because you're just basically searing it a little bit? Yes. Okay. Just going to give it a little sear. Will that be too much of a, a Bugs Bunny if I start munching on this carrot while I'm doing this? I don't think so. I think that's perfect. <laughs> that is one big carrot. Yeah, it is. That is a carrot and a half. <laughs> All right. That's really cooking up nice there. This is a really... I, I know that when I, when I go uh, to the restaurant, I always get this dish. This is one of my favorites. Oh, you really it's just pretty popular. Oh, okay. yeah. It's a newer dish. We had a new menu come out in March, mm -hmm. and uh, we just started doing the ahi tuna tacos. We were doing it as an appetizer, just with some wasabi and seaweed, right. and we thought we'd try it with a taco, and it's really working out well. Mm -hmm. so I'm going to cook this rare. Okay. I'm always going to slice it with the grain. With the grain. With the grain. Yeah, I'm sorry, against the grain. Well, against, against the okay. Against well, the well, grain. I didn't even know grain, so. so it doesn't fall apart. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Yeah, yeah. All right, so I've got the onion there, and now I'm, I'm working on the, so the, the green pepper. Finished. Chef, I know I'm not doing this as quick as you as you would, but I'm working on it. So, yeah, that's other than other than tuna, what what would be good? What would uh, you, it, what in a fish? taco? Yeah. Well, we do, we also do a mahi mahi tuna uh, fish taco. Okay. We also do a shrimp taco. Yeah. Um, and we do a regular uh, chicken taco and a ground beef taco. Oh, so there's wow. your standard. But the, the twist on this tuna taco is is we're using this power blend, which is really nice because it has kale, Brussels sprouts, carrot. Um, and we're using it a little crunchy, and then the corn salsa is wonderful as well. Okay, yeah. which because I'm going to make. It's a slight right? twist on regular salsa. Okay, so, so what do we need to do? You're here? gonna go ahead and dump your um, tomatoes in there. Okay. And then your corn go. Corn. And just stir that up a little bit. Yep. Then we have our spice mixture. Okay, how much of that? You can use the whole thing. It's the whole a blend of. Uh, some cumin, some coriander, some garlic, Ooh. a little cayenne. And if you wind up with a little extra spice, it's okay. <laughs> In other I words, just... a lot of cayenne. Yes. Okay. And then you can add, we use a little good. red wine vinegar as well. Oh. Okay. Perfect. And then your uh, fresh veggies. All right. Now we're going to garnish at the end with a little bit of avocado. Okay. Oh, look, he got a rice one. <laughs> yeah, it's actually good. That's yeah. usually not how we do it. So here, sometimes with the... Uh, with the seed, you hit it with a knife real hard, yeah. it comes right out. Yeah, we've tried that. <laughs> we've tried that. So. <laughs> we can tell you some stories about that. Yeah, right? Well, that does, it does, it does <laughs> work. <laughs> some stories. Okay. I'm just going to a couple, couple slices couple of the slices avocado. Slices of the avocado. Oh, give can me I steal your knife? Yes. <laughs> there you go. All right. How about, how's that? Perfect. All right. All right, you know what? Let's, let's use what you made here, because I think it's going to be a whole lot better than what I'm trying but to... It looks very good. It's pretty simple. Now, here's your cilantro. We'll chop a little of that for your salsa. Okay. That's the finishing ingredient on that. All right. And of course, if you would like this recipe, just send us a self-addressed stamped envelope to 1729 North Salisbury Take Boulevard, that. Salisbury, Maryland, 21801. Sorry, you can also go to our website, wboc.com, click on our picture at the top of the page, or give us a call, 443-880-9116. That's nice. All right. I guess it's easy to, over, easy to overcook tuna, isn't it? It is. So we only cook that for maybe uh, 30 seconds right. on um, in the pan. Yeah. And the trick is make sure you have the pan nice and hot. Right. Okay. All right. And you want me to go ahead and put this wasabi together? We, yeah, we're going to make the wasabi. She's going to make the wasabi. So she just has powdered wasabi uh, that you can buy at the Asian market. All of this? Um, we're going to mix it first. Okay. And then we use a little mayonnaise to make it creamier. And then we put it on a squirt bottle so you can just spray it on the tacos. Oh. But you can see it gets nice, nice and pasty like when you make um, at a sushi restaurant when you have sushi. Yeah. So, so now it's a little cream with a little bit, just a couple scoops of mayo. Okay. And then we're going to be good. Let's put um, this thing together because we have got to taste yes. it. Yes. And you can do diff two different ways. We're going to use a uh, flour tortilla today, mm -hmm. but you can also use a corn tortilla if somebody has gluten allergies. Uh -huh. okay. All right. We at the restaurant use the, um, the corn. Okay. Okay, okay so we're going to take um, throw that thing together. a little bit of the salsa. 
I'm mm. going to take our tuna. Put some oh. chunks of tuna on there. <laughs> is it bad that my mouth is watering? No, no, no. Good, yes. <laughs> and we're going to take our power blend. And then we're going to go ahead and um, put a little bit. We like to finish it off with a little bit of pickled onion. We, okay. we didn't prep that here, but we make it at the restaurant fresh. Okay. And then we're going to use a little bit of avocado here. Uh huh. Get one more piece. Uh huh. So there you go. Good looking. Chef, if we can All cut right. that in half, Lisa and I well, will I can make it. it. I'll make it one more. Okay. So well, we, we've got to go ahead and taste it. So why don't you go ahead and I'll cut it in half, one. Jimmy? And yep. we'll go ahead and taste it. Well, yeah, I'll make Jimmy here. I'll get you the knife. There you go. <laughs> oh, he's he's confident. He's gonna get it. I got another one going right here. All right. Already done. Look at that. All righty. Taste the half of it. I get to taste it. And then first. we got a little See how that is. There you go. And this one for you. Chef, this is terrific. Thank you so much. Mm. You're welcome for bringing us in today. Not a problem. Mm. Here we go. Easy, uh -huh. fast, quick. Mm-hmm. And delicious. Go ahead.